We always end on the same question in our interview. What advice would you give to the current generation of high school students that would like to start the process to make a positive impact on society? And how would you recommend they start this process? By simply failing and trying again, failing and trying again until you get something to work. I would learn about so many different things. Definitely. Talk to your friend's parents, see what they do. Take as many different types of classes as you can. Mm -hmm. And then once you find something you love, that's, I mean, that's, that's when it's great, right? Because yes. once you get into research, once you get into a career, you're going to be doing that a lot. Can I hear the best piece of advice ever? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Okay. Getting experience is really, really valuable. So here's what I recommend young entrepreneurs do is find, you know, an entrepreneur or a, you know, a business that you know enough about that you can talk about it. You're interested in this industry. Research a company that's close by you um, and contact the founder. If you don't know someone who can give you an introduction, uh, if you can use your network to network and see who might know this person, do that. But, um, you know, get in front of this person and offer your services however you can help for free right. go to them and say i'd like to work work for you and put a, a time limit on it not indefinitely but i'd like to work with you for three months okay um and i can offer you 10 20 hours a week you know something manageable mm -hmm. um and just say i, I don't want any compensation all i'd like is a, a little bit of your time to help me understand the business and whatever task you're willing to, to give me, I'll go get coffee, I'll run spreadsheets, I'll do social media, I'll do the most boring stuff that nobody wants to do and I will kill it. I will be so good at it yeah. and all I want is experience. That's the compensation. So if you have that mindset to go get what you want and put in you know, time and effort and the compensation is experience, uh, the, the seas will part, the clouds will part and things will happen for you. Uh, and things will go your way, I promise you. So I would say the most important thing is to actually do things and actually try things. So don't just, you know, sit at home and dream about what you're gonna do, but just go out there and try different things because that's what every entrepreneur does. They try and they fail, but they fail fast. Oh, yeah. Oh. oh, that's a good question. It will never be perfect. It will never be right. It will never be the right time and not being afraid to just going for it and doing it is really, really important for success. Staying a constant explorer, an explorer of who someone who's wanting to also understand a lot more of who they are as an individual. Every individual is unique with different talents, which makes it so beautiful because if everyone truly let out their gifts of what they're good at and focused on that, we might benefit a lot more from those gifts because a lot of the people are not able to utilize their strengths. I mean, I would say that the advice going in, if you're looking to start a business or maybe co-found a business, is to really explore why you want to do it, right? Um, I think the first step is to see whether or not you're doing it for the right reasons. Mm -hmm. um, there are some people who want to start a business because uh, they might be attracted to uh, maybe the glamour or the prestige of it. Um, but there are some people who want to start a business just because they really feel in their hearts there's a fundamental need out there in the market that yeah. um, they want to give. Um, I would hope that it's the latter, which maybe uh, you guys or maybe some other folks are looking to start a business and they really want to contribute to the world and contribute to something or a cause that you feel like needs to be addressed. Yeah. The way that it is, is not the way that it has to be. So do not think that because, oh, this is the way it's always been done or this is how things are, right? You, you, you go work a nine to five job for 40 years. Yeah. Like, you don't have to fit in with the norm. Um, so if, if there's things that you believe in, you pursue them with everything you have, right? Take, take judgment out of it. Uh, sure, your peers might call you weird or different or why can't you guys, why can't you guys just be like everybody else? 
You don't want to be like everybody else. Yeah. Uh, challenge yourselves. Step out. Do things that are uncomfortable. Right. Go to a go to a class or a club that you might not have gone to, yeah. or 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 step out into a new community and and see what it's like. Uh, ask questions. Roll up your sleeves. Get your hands dirty. Don't um, don't wait for people to teach you things. Okay. Uh, you know I'm. Uh, <laughs> Your teachers may not like me saying this, but like I'm not a big believer in the school system. Um, I actually believe entrepreneurship can't really be taught, um, yeah. and you really the best way to learn is to actually go out and do it yourself, um, and and you learn by doing. You're never too young to start, like you guys. <laughs> so I think you know you should pursue whatever makes you happy and work hard and, uh, and definitely you'll be successful. That's what I, I believe in. You've got to look at your business the same way you look at like your favorite pair of shoes, right? Or if you have a children like your children, you are responsible for its growth, but you're also responsible for its recognition, right? Like I have a two-year-old son. I will talk about my son until I am blue in the face if you let me. You should treat your business the same way. And so this is actually something that I, I got from Will Smith. Fail early, fail often, fail great, right? The more that you can fail at your age, the less you'll fail at my age. Is listen to your heart, listen to your dreams, um, go after what you believe in. You know, I was, I was a singer in, in high school too, and everybody always, thought, oh, you're going to go to Nashville and you're going to sing. And I didn't see, I was an athlete too. And I just didn't see the return on my investment there. It seemed like a very risky um, chance to take. Mm -hmm. And so that's why I chose business. Um, and it was the right choice because I listened to my heart and I'm able to actually now bring all those things that I really like, my hobbies and everything together into one passion. Yeah, so uh, start small and inexpensive, but don't don't start thinking million dollars now because yeah. <laughs> uh, it's okay to dream that way. That's fine, uh, but uh, by starting small and inexpensive, you make quick mistakes. Uh, where just by getting more practice in, you and when you make a mistake, it'll be less expensive to do so. I say the the most important thing is don't wait. I say start right away like you guys. I've been approached, since I'm now an entrepreneur, yeah. I've been approached by so many people saying like, oh, I've got this awesome idea. Um, I think it's worth a billion dollars potentially. And I say, okay, great, just start. Don't be afraid to take action. I would say just do it. Like. I, I think a lot of people have this fear of what is going to happen, whether it's going to be, hey, I'm going to be a failure, I'm going to fail, or people won't take me seriously, or um, how do I know if this is right, I can lose my life. They think of all the negative outcomes that can happen, but the best way to think about those things are those are unique learning experiences. Right. But my biggest suggestion is is to, if you have a creative or unique idea, you just have to follow through with it. Like you guys, I think your idea is super unique. I think it's super creative. Thank you. Thank and I support it a lot. So yeah, I think you guys should just follow through with it. Just do it and um, you know, make, make your connections. Definitely connections are very important. It's the marriage of those two things, the marriage of imagination and grit, that I think yields something that's beautiful and epic and wondrous. Uh, I believe every person uh, should become who they are in the world. They should, uh, they should use their life as a chance to um, explore and express themselves. 
So I guess I gotta think back to my high school days. Um, you should know very well that there's always something more difficult to do, and you will be asked to do that in the rest of your life. <laughs> something more difficult. So there's always a next step, next level. So just um, go for it. Ask your teachers, ask people you know, like, hey, what else can I do? If you do nourish your individuality, and uh, there's no guarantee of any kind of success, but You'll be, you'll be a lot happier, and and if you are going to be successful, that's the only way to do it. If you're confident enough uh, that you have a brilliant idea, then you should, should not let yourself talk out of it, okay? Yeah. Uh, that's probably um, yeah. the lesson. Uh, it, it is difficult because you, you do need teachers um, as, as role models, you need you need to uh, <clears throat> actually absorb uh, wisdom uh, from there. Uh, but uh, but you have to be essentially critical, right? Right from the from the start. Uh, uh, that's a very very easy. Uh, no, no, it's not. Uh, <laughs> it's not easy. <laughs> Good answer to that. I would say. First of all, um, I mean, I'm going to say things which are kind of rather obvious, a bit, bit trite, but, um, you know, I think you should pursue your interests. Okay, so I would say the very first thing is don't be afraid of math. It doesn't matter if, if the field, you, if, if you want to be a lawyer and the field you want to go into, like, has nothing to do with quantitative stuff. Math is a language and just how, you know, like, more and more people in the world are speaking Spanish or Hindi or Chinese, and it's becoming more and more useful to know those languages. Math is the same thing. Mm -hmm. um, just view math as a language and learn it the way how you would learn any other language, um, and it'll 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 take people a long way. I'd say focus on three things. One is obviously academic achievement. I think for anything you want to do in your career, academic achievement is important. You know, So a couple of things, right? Technology for technology's sake is not going to get anything. Try to find out a real world problem and see how technology could enhance or enable a solution for that. Go outside your comfort zone. Try things out. You know, take classes that you wouldn't necessarily think are a part of your core trajectory because you might be surprised where your core trajectory ends up, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I think that's really important. Uh, talk and listen to people, like actually listen to people. Uh, mm -hmm. I think those are things that are really important. I guess the biggest thing is to learn as much as possible. So. I, I kind of tied some elements of my different upbringing, like being nerdy in programming in high school or the machine learning or the, the optimization that I learned in college or uh, going into consulting and learning about. Like, none of this has been intentional, and yet it's been such a kind of wide, diverse, rich set of experiences. Man, do your homework early. <laughs> early in the day so you got extra time to, to focus on, on your passions but I would say you know putting pressure on some of these corporate corporations and organizations to put more programs into schools at an earlier level I think would be good you know you guys reaching out to some of these um, organizations and explaining the type of things that you've already been able to work on and accomplish right. will give them the confidence to really put resources towards helping at an earlier level I think that if you want to do anything, you should just try it and you shouldn't let being scared or failing hold you back because I think that it's really easy and I'm sure that you guys can relate to this. Like whenever you start a company, I think it's really easy or a new idea, it's really easy for people to doubt you and be like, well, you have this, this, this and this against you. I don't know if that's a good idea if you do that. But honestly, I think the best thing you can do is just go for it and just be ready to fail and be ready to learn from it.
my advice, um, my advice to someone in high school is to to kind of pick and choose your your courses and your independent studies, and to take any opportunities that you can to to pursue what's interesting uh, to you, even if like you don't really see how the dots connect. So I think one thing that I hear time and time again about successful entrepreneurs is that um, he or she just simply did it. Mm -hmm. And you know, I think that's one thing that I want to say to this next generation of high school students is just go for it. I mean, honestly, it's not that difficult now to make a website and there's so many uh, resources at your fingertips yeah. that you know, sometimes you just got to go for it. I think there's a lot of value in interdisciplinary conversations as well. Mm -hmm. So it would be very interesting for a businessman to be talking to a, an engineer, to someone who studied philosophy. You know, a lot of what you'll see in a lot of big change makers is that what they studied in and what they thrived in are completely different things. Well, the first thing is you got to get a good education, which um, I think you're trying to trying to do. Yeah, I think that uh, I I think it's really important when you're in college or just coming out of college to recognize that the biggest asset you have is your future. It, it, it's about being imaginative. Uh, I think there's always an opportunity to do something better. It, you may think that everything's been invented, there can't be anything there, but look around. What could be done better? What could be done to serve human, humankind? What could we do that would make a difference in the lives of those least served? And um, start there, because if you can affect those that need it the most, it works its way up and it'll, it'll change the world. Oh, okay. That is such a good question. Um, I think, I mean, you guys are already doing it, first of all. Like, this is brilliant. Uh, I think you have to, and this is high school or college, I think you have to take every opportunity you can. So if there's someone who does something that you're like, friends, parents, parents, friends, young people you meet, um, that does something that you're interested in, even if you don't know if it will ever come to something, see if you can get on a call with them. I think the most important lesson, at least for myself, is um, don't don't underestimate your, um, your 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 impact, or don't underestimate your ability to create impact. You know, it took me ten years after college to start. Yeah. I wish I had started earlier. <laughs> On the other hand, I value the experience that I brought. Right, that I probably if I had not had the experience in coffee, um, the, the the result of what I'm doing uh, could be different. Right, but it probably didn't, I didn't need ten years. Probably ten five years or three years would have been enough. Well, find out what your passion is, and if you don't know what it is yet, then just jump in and start. Uh, helping in an organization and I'd encourage you to work in different types of organizations maybe a food bank homeless shelter um, uh, after school program Definitely. something like that so that you get a broad sense of what people struggle with uh, let me just emphasize one point there are many others of course that can be emphasized but I would like to highlight the following which is try to understand how the world works mm -hmm. in its Um So before you, you know, decide on what is it that you want to do, before you start making decisions about what to study, what to do with your summers, what to do with your free time, and so on and so forth, try to understand how the world works. And then identify what is it in that understanding that you've gained um, that needs to be improved. Uh, 
this is my personal view you know go people people can disagree with that mm-hmm. but uh, most of the people in this world you know trying to fit themselves according to the book right mm-hmm. according to the libraries you know mm-hmm. uh, this writer said this thing and uh, this person uh, quoted this thing so i am going to follow this quotation so i think you are beyond the books your knowledge your capacity is beyond the books um i mean if if you're already passionate about a particular issue or sector then i would just say you know learn as much as you can about it start something in that space or or join an organization that's already you know kind of active in that space and by organization i mean you know nonprofit company whatever it may be um if you if you're still a few steps away then i would you know kind of what we discussed earlier i would strategize as to what skills or experiences you can acquire in the interim that will best position you to get involved um in and make a difference right i think that uh a really important first step in putting oneself in a position to make a positive difference in the world is being willing to put the time in to think carefully about uh exactly what um the values should be that should drive our action you know don't think about what's think about what's important to you think about the world that you want to live in in the future that you want to leave for your kids and go out and start making change you know little little things help organizations need volunteers bodies need to be in the streets protesting okay so um at a very practical level you know we've been talking about tools and my advice is learn as many tools as you can and pick up as many skills as you can um you know obviously writing is important but video podcast data data visualization you know get as many tools in your tool belt as possible yeah i mean it's hard to to imagine giving advice right now given the state of the world uh but i do think there are many you know there there are many ways that one can um have a positive impact on society i i guess you know maybe maybe it's kind of like voter early and often um you know get involved um do things on a local level while at the same time keeping your aspirations for you know something that can be much bigger impact um my advice to you know people in high school is you know you have a skill set to develop your you are there with um you know great teachers great mentors around you people want to help young people uh you know colleges that you guys are that the the college programs everyone's you know looking at and 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 working hard to study uh and learn from um dive into that you know uh like your your finance major looking into engineer you know a looking at engineering all that multidisciplinary skill sets D- dive into all that learn as much as you can cuz it's not as easy to acquire those new skills later in life i would say um, just be curious and and relentless about searching out learning opportunities and um I guess it's it's kind of a cliche follow your passion. I don't know that I would press heavily on that as much as you know, remember this is the time in your life every year is a high percentage of your total lifespan, but a year is not that long. So just get as much experience as you can. For me it's really simple which is just read. Um I mean reading has completely taken over my life and what I've discovered from reading and it's not to say as an insult to, to young people I mean it, it's something that I learned myself yeah. is um how wrong you can be about certain assumptions about the world and the only way to uh uh I wouldn't say become right because there it's a very challenging to get to that point if 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 possible at all is to read um and is to basically 
take the best ideas that humans have ever come up with over thousands and thousands of years that we have access to them and then stick them in your brain. It's a tough question. I think one thing I, I very strongly believe is that, you know, nothing comes from nowhere, which is just to say like pure creativity where you pull something out of out of a hat and it's it's not based on anything just doesn't really happen right like everything's informed by your experience yeah. and people do kind of just a generally like crummy job of recognizing how the experiences they have had you know are extremely valuable i would say um get involved right now because there's just you know, so much need uh, at the moment. And then I think there's just a lot of uh, potential to see where that goes in the future. So I would say, you know, have some patience. I mean, change takes a long time. But change is, you know, generations. And uh, what you want to do is you want to try to lay the groundwork almost for the next generation.